morning from Big Sky, Montana. We are taking a break from skiing today to go dog sledding. Mm -hmm. Excited, babe? Yep. What I like to do, just introductions first. My name's Jim. We've sort of north. We don't live here with the dogs. We live way over there next to the foot of that other mountains you can see down the Madison Valley. And these dogs, most of them, not all of them, but the biggest majority of them came off of somebody's long distance race team. Long distance oh, wow. races start at 500 miles and go from there. Wow. So uh, they didn't make their race teams for various reasons. We buy those dogs. They try not to sell them to recreational mushers. Stuff like that, they don't want people breeding them. Say, I got Jerry Willemeister's dogs and this is their dog and all that. They don't want that. You reach behind the dog, grab a long green tug line, and you always want to hang on to this the most you can. Most of these dogs aren't going to stand anything like this for you. Manny bribes this dog with jerky. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why Hopsing keeps falling. Not oh, Hopsing. All right. The only time sled dogs bark when they're running is on television. In real life, it's as quiet as it is right now. We stop out there on the trail with the team, they're gonna do a lot of complaining. You get going, they're pretty happy, okay? And so when we start hooking up here, you, and at the end of our talk, you can hear it. Some of them, they know the routine pretty good, and they'll start piping off, we start getting the dog. Pretty quick, it becomes a den, and you wanna get out of here.
sledding stay with Spirit of the North, and they have 126 dogs. And in the summer, they will drive them up to Alaska, actually, and then they go get glacier tours up there. So I guess we have uh, to go dog sledding again. <laughs> Stinky because the dogs poop, but that's the only downside. <laughs>